Looking ahead to the new year now, which is one week away, the number one resolution is still weight loss. But the struggle is to stay consistent and keep that promise. TV6's Solomon Ludvinka gives us a blueprint for that as we head toward the new year. I don't think a lot of people stick with it. And the main way I see is just if you go to the gym, January, you know, it's packed. And then come maybe March, people have dropped off. So I think a lot of people have big plans, but it's sticking with it that's the hard part. Registered dietitian Jenny Tackett says having realistic alternative solutions will help see results. And I recommend starting small. So thinking of just a few things you can do. If you don't work out at all now, maybe your goal is to walk three days a week for a half hour. So it can be a very specific goal, something that's measurable, something that you can do realistically. The YMCA says there's always that surge at the beginning of the year, but memberships drop out within the first few months. We all have goals. If we were all accountable to our own goals, I'd be out of a job because we'd just be in shape, right? But we're not. Um, it could be environment, it could be lifestyle, uh, there's so many components to come into play. Leo and his team works with gym members to help find a workout perfect for them. So how can we do better to engage them and figure out what they like and, and build a program around their lifestyle? So we just have to have honest conversations, meet with everybody and just be at the forefront of that and understand that it's, it's a lot more than just simple motivation. In the Quad Cities, Salma Ladvinka, TV6 News. Well, it's not easy because according to Time Magazine, 80% of us fail to keep our New Year's resolutions by the start of February.